Hey everyone, Will here from my flea market finds for August 5th, uh, 2021. Got a few good uh, pieces to show you this week. Not really a whole lot, but uh, um, some pretty good buys. Interesting stuff. Uh, what I'd like to buy. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, always love uh, old knives, even if they need a little bit of work. Um, such as this one uh, only four dollars but some huge chips out of the blade but uh, I'm not going to do it but somebody could take a grinder grind that grind a line out here and uh, you'd have yourself a uh, nice knife got a good look to the blade handle uh, couldn't find a name on it this one is a uh, Gustav um, good name uh, three dollars on that um, tip needs a little work but uh, it's still a nice uh, nice old knife uh, lots of people like to use the old knives and they look good hanging in the kitchen and uh, this one's a newer one um, I don't know if somebody can translate that for me but uh, I think I might uh, take this on as a project myself, put a new handle in there. Um, it's got a, uh, almost like it's uh, two different steels, or maybe uh, different heat treating uh, they put on it. Uh, but uh, the right handle will make that a uh, good looking knife. Uh, picked up a vinyl tablecloth. And uh, what makes it is the fact that it's from 1951, and I'm guessing that's the year. Sure looks like 1950s. Uh, five bucks, made of extra tough textured vinyl for long-lasting wear, uh, plus two matching bench covers. So uh, it is pretty heavy duty. Uh, it's pretty heavy. Uh, how many of these things can still be around? Uh, for five dollars, I think it's uh, some money to be made. I uh, picked up a pot. I was going to use this down at the Airbnb. Ten bucks. Then I uh, looked it up, and uh, it's a uh, mat for made for M A T F E U R, uh, made in France. And uh, too bad it doesn't have the lid, because if it had a lid, it'd probably be about a $120 uh, pot. Uh, without the lid, probably still looking at around 60 70 bucks. So uh, that's going on eBay. Got a uh, piece of uh, pottery. It's unmarked, but it sure looks like, I'm going to say Roseville. Might be Weller, but I'm going to... My money's on Roseville, um, but uh, 15 bucks. Too bad it doesn't have the uh, the cord or chain to hang it, but uh, can't go wrong there. Piece of uh, McCoy, once again unmarked, but uh, pretty sure it's got the look. Uh, sure that it's uh, McCoy, not worth a whole lot of money. Probably get about uh, 25 bucks for that. Uh, nice piece of art glass made souvenir of West Virginia but I uh, love the color um, get some really good photos of that somebody's gonna love that piece a uh, bowl made in France four dollars uh, get the maker's mark on the bottom and I guess that's the artist signature stamp uh, but uh, Really nice piece, no cracks or chips. A uh, Fenton lot, I got uh, all four pieces for $60. Uh, Fenton sells. Uh, might take a little bit of time, but uh, it does well. Uh, here's a uh, basket. Uh, sign Frank Fenton. Uh, this is uh, pretty neat. It's a uh, 
museum collection piece, which always adds to the value, and also a signed Bill Fenton, which uh, collectors like. Uh, that might be a hundred dollar piece right there, and a little bowl still in the box, and a little bell, really nicely done. Too bad they went out of business. Only a couple pieces of jewelry to show you. A little uh, costume piece, but people love turtles for three bucks in a uh, sterling um, marcasite and garnet uh, butterfly. Only eight bucks for that. Uh, looks really nice. Uh, some Lennox pieces. Lennox does well. I just sold a. Uh, um, uh, tool uh, like a uh, kitchen tool caddy uh, for I sold for like 50 bucks and a soap dispenser for like 40 bucks uh, so this was only these were only a dollar a piece so um, and it even tells you what the pattern is such as uh, Rose Manor so you know exactly what to say in your listing. Um, so uh, should do good. Uh, some more art glass. This one is made by uh, Pe Pele's Glass Hawaii. Um, not worth a whole lot. I paid fifteen dollars for this. Uh, nice heavy piece. Love the design. Love the look. But. Uh, not really going for a lot of money. Um, more Blanco. I think this is the end of it. <laughs> I thought that the last time. But uh, I think this is the end of it. Um, these should do well. They got the original uh, stickers on them. I'm going to have to check the... Uh, pull up the old Blanco catalogs and see if these uh, pieces had to write... Um, have the right stoppers in them. I don't want to make that mistake. Uh, it looks like it belongs here. But maybe there. Uh, I'll check the uh, catalog and uh, and double check that. Uh, that was uh, 50 bucks for the five pieces. Uh, got a bunch of uh, barber shop stuff. The people that'll buy these are uh, are probably barbers. Uh, a lot of barber shops have like little display cases in a uh, uh, with the old time uh, stuff in it. Packard electro electro shaver, a little uh, gym uh, shaver. But uh, take a look. Here's uh, the crisscross dropper, and on eBay, there's one that sold. Now that has everything. Um, that sold for uh, 177, and. This one here sold for 151. This one sold for 145, 145, 124. So I'll probably put 150 on it to see how it does. Um, this one's probably about a $30 piece. That one's probably $30, $30 for that. So uh, should definitely get over 300 for that, uh, hopefully. Uh, well, there you go. Uh, keep, my, keep an eye on my store, Terminal 99 on eBay. Which is where hopefully a lot of this stuff will be listed soon. Um, so, uh, till next time, this is Will Yard Sales 5 list, and we'll talk again soon.